Hello everyone, this is a tutorial video, a comprehensive tutorial video, along with the other one that was just published on YouTube, to show you how you can use the Glot Pack to get the most out of it. Obviously first we have to create a project. If you already have a project, you can just skip this part. Uh, okay, I'll just show you how. Let's start with 5.3, I'm just going to launch it. Then I'm going to go create a new one, let me just change the name for it. Where else I'm going to type in lot pack. Uh, actually, there it is. I'm just lot pack tutorial. And press create. Waiting for the project to start. Okay, now we have a new project, and then we can go to the Epic Games Store. Just going to search it. Let's just find a project. Monkeyface, or obviously, if you have it in your library, you can just load it from there, and then you can add this to your project. Select whichever project that you want. I'm just going to select Hotback Tutorial. It's going to add to the project. We can see that we have a new folder. It's called Hotback. The one that we added to the project. And then we need to we need, we need to add the function to the character. For instance, this is the default, the the epic character. You can find it here. I'm just gonna open it. Just put a tab over here, and then you go to the lock pack again and find any lot that you want. All right, because I'm gonna select the clock. Just gonna work around with the work clock and just going to see here you, you see the BP prefix you're just going to select that the blueprint one and then you have to purge let me get back to the love fight and search for the BP BP character and then you open it I come down over here this is the function. I'm just going to copy the find target function, paste it whatever you want, and then where the character is. I'm just going to paste it here. And then you can go and copy these two lines, as you can see here. And then a quick control C, control V, copy and paste into the event grab. And then you're going to see this message. Uh, just press do nothing and then you know, confirm and if you see there the this server interact and then right right click and then refresh or not and then press compile and then you go and then interact with the lock with the clock lock that's how it is so as I remember the password for this, the preset password for this. Go on. Let, let me let me get, get a responsible password and we'll just show you. There's the clock lock. Yeah. Okay. Or you can just search from here and select it from there. I'm just gonna press edit BD lock. And then I'm gonna click the event graph. And all section, you're gonna add whatever function that you want to your project. I'm gonna add a print string. You have to then you have to discard the other functions. This is this is gonna, gonna say say like a library door is how it's gonna the library door be open. And then for a demonstration, I'm gonna show. You. How this lock is working correctly. I'm just gonna show you in this video as well. If it, basically this 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 says if you if you, if you select the right password, you're gonna get that message over there. Let's go and then play more and try it one more time. Let me just interact with it. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't remember the default password for this one was I think twelve o'clock. So whenever I go to 12 o'clock sharp, move around. 
As I press enter, nothing's gonna happen. But then when I go 12 o'clock, interact with it, you you get to see that message which just appeared on the top left section, top left of the screen. And then obviously if you want to change the password, it's super, super simple, super easy. You go to the section in the details, you select the lock and password time. Just going to make it to like for instance, one o'clock. So let's just interact with it one more time. And then at the move around and get to one o'clock sharp. When I press enter again, it's a, you get to see the same message. Plain simple. Yeah. Obviously, you can do the same. You can, that's how you add other lock to the project. Just drag and drop it over there. And just interact with it. That's how it is. Obviously, yeah, like I said, there's another tutorial for setting passwords, which, which is detailed. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for listening.